Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my current favorite makeup products. This is my favorite kind of video to film every single month and I'm a couple days late, but that's okay, better late than never. Side note before we dive into today's video, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all of your really sweet, caring and loving comments and on my last video. I truly, truly appreciate it. It really means the world to me that you guys care Hair. And yeah, I'm very, very grateful for each and every one of you guys and all of the nice messages you guys have, you know, DM me on Instagram and sent to me. It really, really means the world to me. Um, but yeah, I am definitely figuring it out. I have my filming table. I have my, I have my ring light now, my tripod, I have it. Um, this is what I've come up with so far. And a lot of people have been asking me like what happened to all of my makeup that was in my beauty room, my last room. I actually, before we evacuated, I definitely prepared ahead of time. I put all of my makeup into drawers, you know, so it couldn't get wet or something couldn't happen to it. So it was like basically covered by like things i put it in the closet it was all safe where i placed it before we evacuated let's dive into today's video so we're gonna go ahead and start off in the order of how i do my makeup that's how i set up these products that's how i categorized it just so it's all organized and as good as possible so the first item that i want to talk about is basically the prep before I started applying my makeup and that is sunscreen SPF. If you guys don't know, I have oily skin. Your girl's skin is very oily even though she be using like dewy products and things like that. You know, I'm not gonna let my oily skin deter me from products that I really want to try. Um, but yeah, so I really love this. It's very, very pricey, but it's so worth it. A little bit goes a long way. It definitely does give you that radiant glow to your skin. So I love this highly recommend it if you guys are in the market for a nice spf that has good skincare benefits in it i definitely recommend the one from tula so surprisingly enough i have brow products in today's favorites video can you guys believe that i feel like i don't talk about brow products too much because it's always my morphe brow pencil or nothing um but i have two new brow products that I have been obsessed with. They are so, so, so good. The first one is from Benefit. This is their new Palmade Brow Pomade. You guys, this is, dare I say, better than the Anastasia Brow Pomade. Like, I kid you guys not, this is so creamy. It fills in my brows beautifully, but it doesn't make it look unnatural it makes my brows still look really really natural and things like that i like it i'm in the shade warm black brown which is number five that's the shade that i'm in across all of benefits brow products i don't know why i was so intrigued to try this and pick this up at ulta but i'm super happy that i did i have not picked up my abh one since I got this, I love it. And the packaging on this is absolutely so freaking cute. And the other brow product that I have been truly obsessed with is a brow gel. And it's from Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place just hit us with a ton of new brow products. I ordered pre-storm. I ordered other brow products, but they that hasn't shipped. You know, I haven't gotten it. But I did go to Ulta while I was in Texas and I saw that they had the brow products. This is the one product that I did not order online. So I was like, you know what? Let me pick it up. Let me try it. So this one is the Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Gel in the shade Ebony. I initially picked up the, I think it was like brown or dark brown. That did not look brown to me. That looked more like taupe. But the ebony one is more like your dark brown shade. So like I'm telling you guys, if you are looking at the dark brown one, go for the ebony because the ebony one is just is what dark brown should be. And it's amazing. I just love how tiny the little spoolie is as well as like how fluffy this makes my brows. Also ordered the clear one because... You know, you girl, I need both, I need both. For concealers, they are both new concealers. And the first one that I am truly obsessed with is from One Size Beauty. This is the One Size Butter Silk Concealer. I use the shade Dark One Neutral. I really, really love this concealer. Not a lot of people have talked about this, which I'm really surprised by because I think it's truly amazing. It is so buttery and silky. It blends out so smooth. The doe foot is angled, which helps to get like very, very precise. I love it, especially paired with the one size powder. This is amazing. The other concealer is from ABH. This is one of the products in this video that I'm a little bit kind of like, I don't know. 
I like this concealer, but I don't love this concealer. You know, I do, I wanted to include this in today's video because I did use it. I tried to use it to blend out with a brush and it worked, but I felt like it just became really dry when I was using a brush to blend out this concealer. I picked up the shade 17. There are not that many shades in this launch. I think there's like 25. I feel like there could have been a couple more, honestly, but yeah, so 17 is a shade that I picked up. This is basically my highlight shade. The doe foot on this is even more pointed than the one size one. It's very weird. I've never seen a doe foot that looks like this before, but this is a very thick, thick formula. So if you are not really into that thick kind of formula, then this is not probably the one for you, but I'm not gonna lie. I have just been using this a lot recently and I like how it looks in the end, but when I'm using it, I'm like, ooh, I don't know about this. But then it all comes together and everything looks really smooth and airbrushed. We're gonna go ahead and move on to setting powders because I have three that I have been obsessed with and I need to tell you guys about them. So the first one is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a pressed powder. I am in the shade four. I really wanted to talk about this powder because I see so many people using this powder and I just like recently, like the past two months have been consistently using this and I'm not gonna lie, it's bomb. It's very expensive, but it's a bomb freaking powder. Highly, highly recommended. I do think it's worth the price. It's one of those powders that like when you set your face, it doesn't feel like you're wearing powder. It just feels really, really soft and airbrushed. Absolutely stunning. And I just have really been obsessed with this. This is the only pressed powder that I literally use for all over the face. I have not touched anything else. And there's so many other powders, like pressed powders in my collection, but this one is just on a whole nother level. And I love it. I have two loose powders I wanna talk to you guys about. So the first one is from Sephora. Can you guys believe that? A Sephora powder. Now I have seen so many people talk about this setting powder and Oh my God, the hype is so real. This is only $15 and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm wearing it today under my eyes. Do you guys see how airbrush my like under eyes look? Very, very stunning. You guys don't mind this, like this right here. <laughs> I scratch myself with these press on nails and I cut myself and it left this scar on my face. Love that. And then I have a little friend over here. So. We're just all kind of like messed up over here, but that's okay because my makeup still looks good. But this powder is amazing. The only thing that I have, only complaint I have about this powder is the scent. It doesn't smell good at all. It doesn't smell chemically, but it just doesn't smell good. I wish that they had like a light fragrance in here to kind of cover up whatever that base smell is. Uh, but the powder, I can, I can, get past the smell because of how beautiful and flawless and smooth and airbrushed my under eyes look because of this Sephora powder. And it only comes in one shade, translucent, but this shade I can use all over my face. And the other powder I wanna talk to you guys about is from One Size Beauty. This is the shade translucent. There's only two shades from one size and translucent and then I think like deep is the other powder. I love this. I've talked about this a lot on my channel so I won't spend too much time on this powder but I will say I highly recommend that you try it out. Get the travel size. I think the travel size is only like $16. Get it, you will not be disappointed in this. It is very chunky but once you put it on the face it is is bomb, okay? She's bomb and I love her. All right, so now we're gonna move on to bronzer because surprisingly, bronzer has been my favorite thing to apply next to blush. I feel like I'll never like get rid of blush. Like blush is always gonna be my favorite, but when it comes to bronzer, I just think that this product just makes it so fun and I always look forward to applying bronzer. Um, this right here, these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzers. I have two now because I loved this one so much. I have been using Chestnut faithfully all the time. You guys have seen this in a ton of my videos. I have been using Chestnut so much that I was like, hold on, there's a deeper shade than Chestnut, but it looks like it could be a great contour shade. So I picked up the shade cool brown and it literally is a contour shade. Look at how deep this is. This is stunning. This is a stunning, stunning color. 
absolutely beautiful as a contour for me. The other bronzer and the last one I want to talk about is from Makeup by Mario. This bronzer is beautiful. It's in the shade Deep. Mine is dirty. Do not talk about me, y'all. Don't talk about me because it's dirty and dirty. Um, I'm wearing this on my face today. Oh my gosh, I love this. It just has the most beautiful hint of red in it. It's absolutely stunning and I cannot I cannot complain. I love this bronzer. It is very smooth. It blends out beautifully. It doesn't skip. It also does really, really well on setting like cream, bronzer, and contour. Oh, these with that Makeup by Mario are a beautiful, beautiful pair. Highly recommend. Next, we're gonna move on to blush. But before we do, I have a like face palette that I wanna talk about. And I just recently got this. This is from Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is the Shapeshifter, Kohl's World, and Zachary Vang palette. I just got this not too long ago and I really wanted to talk about it in today's video because it is a very interesting product. I think it's super, super interesting and it has contour and blush and highlighter in it. So it just fits very, very well in this portion of the video. What I love most about this palette is that it is magnetic. So it just snaps closed if you want to just carry it together or you just want to use either or side of the palette. So the top part is where they have the under eye highlighting powders and the cool and warm contour shades. Now I was a little bit skeptical about this just because I was not sure if I could use all of these all of these colors. Now these two shades I definitely can use. This is a contour, this is a bronzer. This shade I'm trying to make it work as a nose contour or I'm just trying to get use out of it. Um, and then the brightening shades are really nice. One is more like a banana brightening shade and then this one is more of a like pinky kind of shade. This is very, very interesting. I find that I like this best to like set my cream contour and cream bronzer and things like that um, rather than using it on its own because it's not as pigmented as I would like, but I think it's a really great product to set, you know, cream products. What really, really drew me into this product is this part of the palette. This is where the blush and the highlighter resides, okay? The blush and the highlighters are where it's at. So this, look at this, oh my gosh. I hate that my ring light is like washing out these products and washing me out. Maybe if I turn it down a little, I don't know if that helps, but you guys, these blushes, I'm gonna try to do close-ups of most of these products so you guys could see what I'm seeing, but there are four, well, there's like three blushes and two highlighters. I'm wearing the highlighter on my nose today, and I'm wearing this blush on my cheeks. I am obsessed, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. So there are a couple of blushes I wanna share with you guys that are that have been my favorites. I'm loving, especially going into the fall time. So the first one is from ABH. Surprise, surprise, uh, the ABH Cream Bronzer in the shade Peach Caramel is one of my absolute favorite blushes of all time, um, like cream blushes. Uh, very, very stunning. This is a part of my everyday makeup routine. I love this blush, very, very gorgeous. I talk about this a lot, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this particular product, but just know, I'm obsessed. I have these two from Rare Beauty that I have been obsessed with. They are the perfect shades, going into fall and grateful and love are the two shades that I have. I just think they're really, really stunning. One is a bright red and the other one is a really gorgeous terracotta blush. And I love it. I love it. Cream blushes have been my go-to a lot recently and I'm very happy about that. Okay, so lastly for blush, I have this one right here that I have been obsessed with and this is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the loose blush in the shade LOML. It is a really gorgeous red blush. It's fall, okay? It's fall. Whether we want it to be or not, it is fall. And the red blushes and the orangey tones are coming out. They are coming out and they did not come to play. This is absolutely stunning. I ha oh, I love this. It's so fun to apply. I have so much fun every time I use this product. I'm trying to hold it for you guys so you guys can see, but I love it. I love all of them, but this is the shade that I've been using the most recently because it has like that orangey, burnt orange kind of tone. And that's the kind of tone your girl loves. I have a couple of highlighters I want to share with you guys and rave about. So the first one is from Jaclyn Cosmetics and it is the shade Go For Gold. I'm wearing it today. Absolutely beautiful highlighter, absolutely stunning. 
Oh, I am obsessed with this. This is like perfect for the fall time. Definitely one of my new like go-to kind of highlighters. I highly recommend this formula. It is amazing and it just feels so luxe down from like the gold reflective packaging to you know it just makes me feel like bougie whenever i use it the other highlighter i want to talk about is from laura mercier this is the honey star translucent loose setting powder i really don't know why they call it a setting powder because it's not it honestly reminds me of like the jaclyn cosmetics uh, mood light powders you know the ones you dust all over the face for a nice glow that's how i'm actually wearing it today i have it all on my forehead to give me like that glowy look i kind of dust it a little bit on top of the go for gold highlighter but the shade honey star is the middle shade and it's really really beautiful let me see if i could swatch this it's hard i knew it's hard swatching stuff with these nails oh but it's stunning it's really beautiful and it just blends it just gives you this gorgeous like glow kind of like a lip from within kind of glow and i love that i absolutely love that and a little bit goes a long way you do not need a lot of this product and then the last highlighter i want to talk about is the one that comes in the brownie bar highlighter palette from beauty bakery this right here is so beautiful look at how reflective it is in the packaging i love this highlighter oh my goodness look at that look at that that's beautiful and then on the face can you guys picture that on the face girl i be cutting up when i have that highlighter on i really do i want to talk about an eyeshadow primer or base that i really 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 love okay really love and it's from makeup by mario this is the master prep and set eye primer kit i'm telling you guys this is all that you need because it comes with two eye primers and then it comes with a translucent powder that sets your eyelid so i use this every single day mine is so dirty and nasty like it is a hot mess it just helps your shadows to blend beautifully like today when i like use this i was like hold on why are my shadows like really like seamless and blending beautifully and i was like girl it has to be this because i have not had a problem with any of my eyeshadows like skipping or catching on my lid because of this product i love it it's not like too wet and then the translucent powder is so soft oh it is so soft and buttery this is great. This I can't remember. I think this is like $28. Highly recommend this. It's really, really good. Especially because you get two eye primers and a powder to set it rather than having to go into a, you know, a loose powder and set your concealer or things like that. It's all in this one little palette. So now we're about to move into eyeshadows, which is probably something I'm most excited about because these eyeshadow palettes are amazing i'm obsessed i love them we're gonna start off with the first one i'm wearing today it's this one well it's a mixture of these palettes but the base of this is from juvia's place this is the the rebel honey palette if this does not scream fall to you then i don't know what does like this palette is stunning it's the base of like what's on my eyes today i just love like this honey look absolutely beautiful i'm wearing these three shades. I didn't use this shade today, even though I easily could have, but I'm wearing these three. Let's talk about these because these babies right here are probably my favorite Huda Beauty palettes that she's ever come out with. These are amazing. Like I always reach for these palettes. And if I don't reach for this palette as a base, I have to go into these palettes for a shade like I did today. Like I went into the Chameleon palette and I went into this gorgeous shade right here. And I put that all over my lid. It is stunning. I love these palettes. They are so worth the $29. I feel like the formula on these is like a different kind of formula from Huda. I don't know if it's a new lab. I don't know what it is, but these are stunning. I do have a review on these wild palettes on my channel. I will link in a card above if I remember. Remember Tati to link it in a card above. But I seriously love these. This one is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love these palettes and they're amazing. Next palette I want to talk about is from Makeup by Mario. There's, I'm sensing a trend here. There's a lot of Makeup by Mario in this video because I really love his products. They are amazing and I feel like they're very much like artistry. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Artistry, but beginner easy i don't know it's like hard to explain but they're just so foolproof to use and i love that but it's also meant for makeup artists as well like i just love 
the whole idea behind this brand. This is the Master Mats palette. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. I just think it's a really great, easy, convenient palette. You can just take a couple shades, put it on the lid, in the crease, you're good to go. I love it. It is very pricey, like I'm not gonna lie very pricey this is a palette that you don't necessarily have to like rush out and buy i do wish it was a little bit cheaper but it is such a good palette so when, if you buy it at full price you won't be disappointed is basically what i'm trying to say and the last eyeshadow palette i want to talk about today is from beauty bay this is the beauty bay wilderness palette in my last video i did get a couple of comments on what i was wearing on my eyes and it was this gorgeous palette right here this is available now this is their newest palette and it's very beautiful definitely screams fall. I just love the earthy tones and stunning shades. Like I constantly reach for this palette. This shade right here is probably my favorite. Oh my gosh. They're just like creamy and buttery. I just, oh my gosh. They are like the most beautiful, beautiful shades. They're like stunning. They're like that wet metallic formula. They're very, very stunning. And I do have a review on this palette up on my channel if you guys wanna see it in depth with swatches and all that good stuff. Definitely check it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to lips. This video is getting long. That's why I told y'all, grab y'all a little snack. I haven't talked to y'all in a while, so I hope y'all don't mind that this video is super long. My go-to favorite lip liner lately has been from Jaclyn Cosmetics in the shade Bold Brew. This is the product I'm wearing all around my lips to like line my lips and things like that. This is beautiful. I love it. It's super, super creamy, but not too creamy where you can't get a precise line. I love it so much. It is $18, but it is such an amazing, amazing lip liner. And it goes with everything. Like those lip liners that go with everything are some of my favorite lip liners. Since we're talking about Jaclyn, I have to talk about these. I have been so obsessed with these lip oils. These are my absolute favorite lip oils of all time. I love these lip oils. So I currently, in my possession, I have the shades Candy Drip and Rosé, the Rosé, Rosé Drip. Oh, cute. I do wish these were bigger because I feel like I'm gonna like really run out of these very, very soon. Like Candy Drip is already looking a little low. She looking a little low there, but I love these. If you can get your hands on them, they're limited edition. Seriously do. I hope she kind of like brings back the lip oils, but maybe it's in a different packaging. Maybe this, the shades that are in this collection are limited edition and the packaging's limited edition. But I do hope that she sees that people love these lip oils and she brings them back maybe with silver packaging. I don't know, in a different like expanded shade range. I would love that because I love these so, so, so much. These lip balms are from the brand NCLA Beauty. So I have the shade, what is this? Birthday Cake and Pink Champagne. There's no names on these, so I can't really... That kind of sucks, there's no names on these. Okay, so this one's birthday cake. I will not forget this. This literally smells like cake icing. Icing is like the best way I can describe these. I got these uh, from Boxy Pop-Up. These are amazing. I love these so much and they're really, really moisturizing and they last a very long time. This right here, this lip mask is from e.l.f. This is the Jelly Pop Luscious Lip Mask. I have like six of these everywhere. This one's my newest one. <sighs> Let me tell you guys about this. So the Jelly Pop Primer, if you have that and you ever kind of, it smells so good, right? If you ever wondered how it tastes, this is probably how it tastes. This tastes and smells so good, it smells just like the Jelly Pop Primer, and it just, oh, it's beautiful. It lasts all night. This is one of those lip masks where you don't have to worry about it like getting off your lips throughout the night. This will stay on your lips. I think this is only like $6. It's not the biggest container, which is why I've gone through so many of these, but they are amazing, and I'm obsessed with this lip mask. This is my go-to, my current favorite lip mask ever. Lastly, for like lip treatment and lip product oil i guess i have this product right here from truly this is the pineapple haze glossy lip butter so this is a product as well that i really really like thoroughly enjoy i'm a little disappointed that it doesn't smell like pineapples oh it really does feel like icing on the lips it is a lip butter i really like this i like to apply this product before i do my makeup to just kind of like condition and moisturize my lips um before i go in with 
my lip products when I'm done with my makeup. So that's what I like to use this for. This product has made me more interested in the brand truly. I wanna try them out. I wanna see what they're working with. A lot of people love their products. And I just wanna see like what the hype is really about. I really love this product. So I have high hopes for the brand. The reason why I'm showing you guys all four of these is because I filter through these so much. These are from Huda Beauty. This is their cream lipstick formula. My go-to shade, where is it? Moneymaker is my go-to shade. It is a stunning nude shade. Absolutely beautiful. Like you can't even see it. It's so beautiful and I love it. But I definitely recommend that you guys check out the Huda Beauty, like what I keep forgetting, the cream lipstick formula because they are amazing and I seriously recommend these. All right, so the last lip product I wanna talk about is from ColourPop. This is the So Juicy Gloss in the shade, what shade is this? I don't even know. <laughs> What shade are you? Oh, bonus track. So this is their newest So Juicy Gloss from their Y2K collection. I seriously love this gloss. It is a gorgeous gloss. I'm gonna see if it'll pick up on camera, like the purple in here, like the shift of, oh yes, you can kind of see it. That shift of purple is stunning. You guys know purple is one of my favorite colors and this gloss just adds something different to my collection. I really, really love it. I'm constantly pulling for this gloss. I'm so happy I picked it up because it is a stunning gloss and I wanna see more like out of the box kind of like shades from ColourPop in their lip formulas because I love this. It really surprised me. Um, the So Juicy Gloss Formula is one of my favorite gloss formulas from ColourPop. Seriously, one of my favorites. It just adds like the most gorgeous, juicy shine to the lips. It's absolutely stunning. And I highly recommend this one out of all three in the collection. This product right here is from the brand Mandr Mandrakin Skincare. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but I got this in my August BoxyCharm. Oh my gosh, I keep scratching myself with these nails. They're sharp. I need to cut them. Okay, so this is the hydrating face mist. I love this to like prep my skin for my makeup application after I've, you know, applied all my skincare. I like to use this product to prep my skin. It's really good. It is very heavily scented, but it's scented with good things. It has like a dead sea Dead Sea Minerals in here. Um, there's calcium, zinc, copper, magnesium, potassium. Um, and it just smells good. And there's also 12 minerals in here. It's amazing. The next product I wanna talk about is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. Everybody knows this is the setting spray that everyone talks about. I am obsessed. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, but I will say this setting spray is truly worth the price. All right, next setting spray. You guys already know what it is. It's the Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace Setting Spray. Need I say more? I've raved about this. I'm obsessed with this. $18 at Ulta. Get it. Run. Don't walk because this setting spray will make your makeup last so long. And if you forget to put on primer, don't worry because if you go on with this setting spray, girl. You'll be like, girl, primer who? Primer who? You know what I mean? And then lastly, this is a fairly newer product to my collection. I did have a mini. I did finish up the mini. Then I was like, okay, let me go in and get the big one. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I love this. It's super fun to apply. And I just think it's so cute. I love this product. And I love using this particular like product to like kind of like prep my makeup before I go in with everything. I don't really use it as like a setting spray at the end. Um, this is more of like a throughout my makeup kind of spray. And I really, really like this a lot. It's really fun and I love it. And the color is so pretty. It's so, so pretty. The next product is a perfume and this is the Ariana Grande God is a Woman perfume. I have been obsessed with this perfume. It pops out like this. Um, I will say this smells so good. I just wish that it lasted longer on the skin. It doesn't last that long on the skin, but it smells like pears. If you are into that like pear smell, you're gonna really, really love this. Oh, it smells so good. Go to Ulta, smell it, and then come back and tell me how you like it because it smells so good. I love it. Last product we have is from One Size. It is Go Off Juiciest Makeup Remover Wipes. 
obsessed with these. These are huge. I used them. I use so many of these. They are amazing and they would take up your whole face of makeup with this one wipe. I need to go ahead and order some more of these because Sephora has them on sale for like $7 and I'm like, girl, what am I waiting for? I need to go order them ASAP. I might order them after this video. Uh, but yeah, so these are great. I just recommend storing them upside down because they kind of dry all the juice like soaks to the bottom of the wipes. So I kind of like would store it like this so the juice could like soak into all of them. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my current makeup favorites and a couple of my other like beauty favorites. I could talk to you guys for hours, but your girl is thirsty. I've been talking for about 40 minutes and I need to go take a nap and then edit this video. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.